Hello everybody, and welcome back to... Welcome to Ponya. Last time, uh, we were gonna deal with Cletus and Donna. And we have a place to hide. Nope, I wanna look at Oppenbot first. As it would seem. I can't interact with... No, I can go back the other way, but... I think we hide in here. Very good. That should suffice as a hiding place. But first, I want to ditch this horrible outfit. <laughs> and now, take cover. Rufus. Rufus. Uh-uh. Ah, there you are. That's what I was about to say. Now I have something urgent to tell you. I am the real Cletus. That other chap was merely an imposter. Uh, if you say so, so you no longer resist coming with me. Resist? I insist upon it. Nice. Uh -huh. Well then, move it. Gladly. And Donna? She gonna... Oh It keep catches me off guard. Well, that is a surprise. Catching me off guard. Hmm. <laughs> that went well, and now I. Huh? <laughs> oh, I think I have an idea what that is. How original. Would you like to make a complaint, Miss Girl? My nose itches. Miss Girl, stop bleating. You'll have a genuine reason soon enough. Hmm. Ah, the interrogator. Finally. Leave us alone, bridge guard. Yes, sir, bailiff, sir. Let me go, Argus. Do you have any idea how many innocent lives are at stake? Do you even care? Have you no conscience? <laughs> Quite the contrary, my dear. I am not who you think I am. Rufus, or no, Cletus? Uh, who? Neither. Bailiff Argus. The right hand of Prime Controller, Ulysses. You do know Ulysses, don't you? You know that he is the actual monster in this little play. For years, I have stood quietly by and watched how the extermination of an entire people was prepared, merely to allow a privileged few to enjoy a better life. I know Ulysses better than I know how he thinks. Only I can put an end to this madness. But for that, I need the Ascension Code. But then we're on the same side. Why didn't you let Rufus and me finish what we were doing? Rufus, I shudder at your very name. Who are I you? I will not leave the salvation of 11,000 souls to that blundering would-be hero. Argus. Wow. 11,000 people. So many Rufus rescued me, you know. Is that a joke? This Rufus has caused you nothing but grief. He's not trying to help you. He's only using you to escape his own miserable existence. But... Come with me, girl. I will accompany you to Elysium as your fiancé. You know, I could take the Ascension Code without your consent, but you're too desperate. You understand that I am the perfect choice for this mission. I... I can't. Why not? Because... Because... Uh, Why? I've got to do something. If only I knew where... I don't know, Rufus. You might want to let this play out. Oh, no. Can I... Like... No, I can't look at them. We have a button, a button, a button, some buttons, uh, a button, and uh, a button with three little buttons. Well, click all these. Hey, stop! Um, this one? Oh, that's much better. Huh? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. It's the machine. It just went crazy. <laughs> I like how they can't see through the glass. No, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop! I said stop it! Uh-oh. Stop! No! Huh? Uh... Miss Girl, stay with me. You have been injected with an overdose of sodium amytol. You must stay with me now. Do you hear me? Stay with me. Uh, no. What? Why not? Because... Goal! Because I love Rufus. 
Go! 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 Get this Go. useless Let scrap bin out of my sight at once! Throw it overboard! Go. Immediately! What have I done? Go! What have I done? Well, that's so sad. Regarding Gold's death and the loss of the Ascension codes, I desist from my usual bomb modes. <gasps> Things were in a mess. The tightness in his chest was no less as big as the Colossus of Rhodes. And as he fell from the skies, his life flashed before his eyes. He left of hope, no courage left to black up. He did finally comprehend this was a definite end. Came over this time, he completely fucked up. Oh, so he completely fucked up. No way. No. Bed end? Rewind? What? Uh, ow. Huh? What? Tutorial? Oh, it was hell. Of course. Ah, of course. This is hell. That's right. Oh, we have the yang. Oh. And the yang. We have the button. And the indentation. Well. <sighs> Roof is just. I don't blame me, man. <sighs> Let's get back to it. Well, let's get back to it. Shall we, Rufus? Hmm. Well, shall we get back to it, Rufus? Wait. What if I... Huh? Can I... Well... Well, it doesn't look like I can. Huh? Well, let's get back to it, Rufus. Shall we? One last try. Well, like, yeah. Okay. Let's reload. I'm kind of curious that that actually was like bad ending hell, and we'll just skip through all this stuff. Oh yeah, I can look at it now. Huh. A cylindrical cone. No, it a barrel well. Uh, thing. Exactly what I've been looking for. Yeah, so as it were. All right, skip all the wow. stuff. So let's click this button. Hey, stop! Let's click this button. Doing it. It's the machine. Like. Mm, uh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. I said stop it. I have no other choice. It just stop. does it anyway. Huh? Oh. Back to hell we go. It was hell, of course. 
So what do I do and how? Can I? Huh? Huh? Do I just keep clicking it? Huh? Huh? Well, well. There's. Huh? There's nothing else for me to do. Well, well. Like. Hmm. Can I just simply leave? No. Doesn't seem like. It. Oh! Well, that doesn't seem very. Huh. Okay. So we have all these things. Oh, you know what? I think I see. Okay. Alright, let me die real quickly. That was not very... Like... Clear. Now, whether I leave all the extra stuff in is... uh, well, we'll see. We have a power inverter. So can I just go to heaven now? We have some console buttons. So meat, fire, wind, ice. What is that? A stick. Ah. Where that one was. Can I try the power inverter here? Ah! Whoa. Well, that happened. Can I press the button now? And if I press it again, it slowly closes. Okay. So I have to mess around with the console. Until it feels right. Let me see what it's. Oh, I can't even just look at it. Oh, okay. What about now? And when I push the button. Okay. Can I sing? No, I can't. Okay. Hmm. No, there's no real way to tell me that anything is going correctly. Hmm. Aside from just trial and error, basically. Okay. Let's try this assortment of things. And I can't enter. Oh, wait, no. To the conveyor belt. And now we're here. Okay. A saw, a bat, ice, fire, lasers. Okay. So that was to pick the order that we do things. Okay. So what if we freeze me first? Then we do this. Let's try that. Actually, what does it say? Well, great. Rufus is dead and ended up in hell. All he can do now is to switch up the fuses so it makes. so he makes through the various dismantling stations in one piece at the, at the end of the assembly line whether this is good for whether whatever this is good for at this point need a hint I'm curious 
Lasers can only slight Rufus into pieces, but also patch him back together as long as he's in a solid state of matter. Okay. I figured that. So... There. That should work. This should work. This is quite a interesting level. Yep. And this torment. That's what we like, Rufus. So let's see if these can do anything to us. It can. So the saw can still break us even if we're on the ice. Okay. So what if we did that? Yeah. Alright, let's try that. I got that pretty well on the first actual, like, try. First try of knowing what to do and what things did. So that saws us up. Does this put us back together? No. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So what do we want? We need to figure out what undoes the saw. Alright. Let's try this. Let's see if this does anything. Because as far as I know, the... The bat... Whoops. Undoes one thing. So let's see if the bat can undo the saw. Because the saw is the only thing missing. What this might be? What might be the answer? No, because that was the first thing that happened, right. It did this and it just gave us a black eye. Yeah. And then we're just ham, Rufus. Okay. So... It needs to be the bat after the fire <sighs> alright we need to try something like this no well it's not the worst thing alright let's just try that so aside from when Rufus is burnt the bat turns him back to normal the ice, he gets melted from with the fire. What about this? Just cut some up normal again. Okay. And we saw that one light light up in the top right. Darwin Award. Oh, I like it. it has a little platypus symbol. Okay, let's try this all in the opposite order then. There. Let's try that. So I'm assuming there might be three achievements to get here then. Let's see if any of the lights are lit up. Nope. It does nothing. So maybe we need to reverse the first two. The bat. Wham. Okay. 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 So maybe we reverse the laser and the saw. Let's see. 
I'm tempted to put the saw at the very end. I'm assuming this will actually have no effect, but we'll see. Because the saw has always been before the laser, so we will see the effects. Laser cuts us up. Saw does literally nothing. Okay. Okay. And it said the laser put us back together, but we have to be in a solid state. Right? Laser can not only slice Rufus into pieces, but also patch him back together, as long as he is in a solid state of matter. But... Hmm. So that needs to go last then. Let's try that. I can't see how this can go out. I'm assuming he gets burned up, cut into pieces, frozen, smashed, and then laser. Puts them back together, maybe? But that's a long stretch. I saw an egg. Oh. If this is the right answer, we've missed an egg. Oh. That does nothing. Further nothing. We're frozen. Broken into pieces. And then absolutely nothing. Okay. Hmm. Well, we get the egg. Yeah. All right, let's open this. So, hmm. Let's... I don't see how this can... Well, you know what? No. It's irrelevant. So basically we need to do ice, fire... And then laser at some point. If I could just, like, leave with that. Hmm. Let's try this. I don't think this is the right answer. But we'll see. And then it's melted into tiny bits. And that did absolutely nothing. Wonderful. Okay. So basically we need to do that in reverse. So we need to have Rufus... Hmm. Like, this looks like the right order. Okay, let's try these two. Reversed. I... I feel like it's the other way around, but this feels like this has to be the right answer. But I don't know. Because he gets frozen, then he gets burned, so he gets put out, and then he just gets, you know, slapped. Then he's fine. I like this puzzle, it's just a little tedious. Especially with having to figure out what to do in general. Yep. 
Like, this seems like this has to be the right answer. Because this... Oh, the first three are null and void. Because this puts them back to normal. And this should put them back to normal. But it doesn't. See, that's the thing I don't get. Because it says it puts them back in a solid state. He's in a solid state of matter. Like, it should be working. But it just doesn't. Alright, let's try that. Maybe it just has to not be the last one. Let's try the saw at the very end and let's just see what like that does. No. Okay. So let's try this. Yep. Let's see if this is the right order. Mm -mm. Oh, you know what? What if I did that? Let's hope everything's still good. That should be the order to do it. Hopefully. Alright. This episode has been a living hell for me so far. Let's see how well this works. Okay, there we go. Groundhog Day. Alright, so now what can I do? I could take the jail or junk ball bat. It's hit us enough times today. And uh, I can go break this here light. Or take the light, one or the other. But honestly, probably this. Stupid light at the end of the tunnel. I'm gonna let you have it! Wait a sec! Light at the end of the tunnel. God. It's only an illuminated button. Interesting. And this isn't hell either. It's some kind of factory. And a crappy one at that. Could this mean that I'm not dead after all? Can somebody explain what's going on? Hmm. Oh god, we have all these mysterious protein, water, minerals, carbohydrates, and fat. Yeah. Okay. And then we have a funnel. Maybe this is a reconstitutor, something to put someone back together. But who would have that technology? The Organon? No. Oh, hey, maybe this is how. You. Stop! Wait! Don't move! I demand some answers! 
The city of the dead. Hmm. I care. Look at all this cool stuff. Professor Wantas. Just one obstacle after another. Rufus, fine. Wait. Time to clock out yet? Factory floor in this way. Yeah, this looks like the the city of the dead or the de city of the damned, maybe. Oh, I can't believe it. He's bolted the door from the outside, but that's not going to stop. Interesting. We have olives. Do they Yeah, olives grow on vines. I guess that makes sense. We have a sack of beans. Can I use the sack of beans on any of these? No. Can I grow my own plants? We have a vial. We have an oil bottle. Are we gonna make olive oil? Sweet. We have water. Oh, carbohydrates, water. Okay. Interesting. I do feel pretty hot under the collar, but I'm sure I'll find a better way to let off steam. How about this? Okay. And we have this file. So. Hmm. There are more effective ways of hacking something to pieces. Interesting. Huh. Huh. That make sense. And there's no other instruction things here. Can I go back down? Okay, so that's how I get up. Hmm. And I can't take any of these. And I can't go through this. I'm curious if this, because we have that. All right, so let's see. Let's just try putting things in there in general. So we have olives, oil. Genius. Oil's well that ends well. Clever. Maybe water. Doesn't look like a water mill to. Maybe beans. This isn't gonna make it any tasty. Do I just take it? Okay. So now I have olive oil. Wow, what a big surprise. Olive oil. Rufus, you're getting really snippety right now. And nothing's changed over here. Do I take the olive oil with the oil? Kitchen, I must be in hell. If this is the if this is the Okay. If this is if this is if this, if I, but I'm sure I'll find. Hmm. And there's nothing else to really interact with here. Can I just give it a go to whack? I do feel pretty, but I'm. No. Okay. All right. Let's try adding these things into this. Yeah. No. Rufus. Yeah. Water with water, maybe. See I if anything. Whether this is one of the missing ingredients. Yeah, but you won't like. Let me put it back in. So we have fat. So beans, I would assume for fat. No, we already tried the beans right first. Um. So now I've got me a junk ball bath next. I'm gonna use it to get some. Okay, maybe oil. No, not water first. The bag, but all it contains is uh, probably a colony of. So what did it say? The bag says soybean, but all it contains is little white pellets. Uh, probably a colony of roaches. All right. I'm usually not that picky when it comes to waste oil, but this has gone kind of green, and it smells of olives. Ugh, disgusting. Definitely gone bad. This water looks totally different from the water at home. It's fizzy, and it's not green. Hmm. Wow. What? Maybe... If this is... No. If this is... Did I try this oil? No. Oh. Take that! Well, that happened. <laughs> Nothing? Yeah. Can I just start whacking things? Wait. Let's see your six gauge. Here we go. Take that. And now? 
nothing has changed. Hmm. Well, protein. Take that. Nothing's changed. Hmm. Take. And nothing's changed. Hmm. And there's nothing over here. Maybe I just use the bat on the door. Maybe it's that simple. Okay. Door meet Rufus. Rufus, you are really losing your touch. All right, let's go see that guy with the robe and the scythe, who looked very pale in the city of the damned or dead. Sure, he's friendly. Hey, hello! Quit playing games with me. Oh, I've got company. How nice! Nothing is nice here. But you know you're alive again. Isn't that fantastic? No, it's not. I should be dead. Calm yourself. How about a cup of peppermint tea? Ooh. It's relaxing and refreshes your breath. There's nothing better when you've only just come back from the dead. I don't need no stinking peppermint. I want answers. Okay. Where am I? Welcome to my humble abode. You live here? Nice place, huh? Mm -hmm. This used to be the facility where the organon was created. A really? clone factory, in fact. Ugh. It looks more like a waste processing plant. Uh, actually, that's what it is. You need plenty of organic material in order to clone people. <laughs> You're telling me that the Dark Exchequer consists of biological waste? I'd be a little less condescending if I were you, Prototype R. Proto what? <laughs> oh yeah, Prototype yourself. Oh, yeah, Prototype yourself. I didn't mean to offend you, Rufus. You, you, you know my name? <laughs> of course I do. I'm the one who gave it to you. What, what are you saying? Uh... I admit it's not the greatest creative name I ever came up with. You're one of a series of prototypes that predated the mass production of the Organon. Only three of them survived. Prototype A, Prototype C, and you. Prototype R. A and C, Argus mm -hmm. and Cletus, and R, as in Rufus, exactly. Rufus stands for red hair. I thought That's I could it. tell you apart by the color of your hair, but I never managed to create hair colors that lasted beyond puberty. Unfortunately, mm. that wasn't the only flaw. All the prototypes had problems before I came up with the right composition. The clones were designed as dispensable workers, so oh. I took away your respect for life. Unfortunately, that also meant that many of you were not afraid of death. There were various accidents. Interesting. So, um, who, who are you? Who crap are you? My name is Hermes. Huh. I used to be the head of this clone facility. You gotta be in incredibly old. Technically speaking, I've only lived for two days. I clone myself anew on a regular basis. <laughs> Keeps me young, but my genes are old. The intervals keep getting shorter. Yes, gene splicing tends to work that way with biodegradation. Interesting, so, I mean, I kind of figured with Rufus, I didn't figure with Argus, though, and I, I, I mean, I kind of figured with Cletus, too, that Rufus and Cletus were related, but not Argus. And interesting that you're Hermes, messenger of the god, you know, since we thought we were in hell and we have a message that we're not dead, after all. That's kind of ironic. Why don't you just die? Why would I want to? I feel absolutely fine. That's not what you look like. Why can't you just accept it? Your life has run its course. On the contrary, I'm in top shape. Oh. Oh, oh, uh, could you for a moment? Yeah, um, here. Thank you. You're now, fine. Where was I? You're yeah. amazingly fit. Ah, yes, exactly. Yeah, that's a fiddle. Fit as a fiddle, one might say. Why didn't you let me die? You were dead, strictly speaking. I cloned your mortal remains. Yeah, but why? I deserve to be dead. Don't be so hard on yourself. 
No one should be dead on a beautiful day like this. This isn't a beautiful day. I screwed it all up. You did. Got a bit of a guilt complex, have we? No matter what you've done, get over it. Life goes on. You call this life? This isn't life. This is a cheap copy of life. A counterfeit. An artificially created imitation. Oh, nothing here is artificial. All my clones are made from organically grown materials. Didn't you say you found the ingredients in the garbage? Biological waste. Organic. 100% natural. Oh, except for the nucleic acid. That is synthesized from radioactive sludge. Okay, that's how you make that. It's not true. It is. Yes, it is. But it can't be. It has to be. I'm not like the organons. I never claimed you were. It's true that your genes are almost identical. You have no respect for life. But you have one thing that they lack completely. Sex appeal. <laughs> hope. Y yeah. And sex appeal, right? Rufus has hope. And not sex appeal? Excuse me. I'm not like Cletus or Argus. Kind of are. Of course not. Cletus originally had green hair. And Argos blue. Interesting. But I wasn't thinking of hair. Look, they're conniving backstabbers, while I'm just totally trustworthy. They're arrogant and conceited, mm. but I'm uh, super modest. They're evil assholes, and I'm a regular oh, asshole. That is too wonderful for. Just stop right there, Rufus. Rufus, you're not identical. Because you are much more than just the sum of your genes. Very all your true. experiences, all your memories add up to form the person you are today. You mean we once were completely identical? Only I was capable of learning from my failure? Yes, that's it. Well, close enough. At least in your case, the gene for learning from your failures wasn't rendered correctly. But the rest is true. Interesting. Wait, if I'm a clone... Wouldn't I have to be very young now? A surprisingly good question. I see those containers over there. In them, I simulate the natural process of aging. So you can choose the age of your clone? Interesting. Exactly. Then why do you look like shit? <laughs> uh, don't be so rude. It's a valid question, though. Okay, I'm a clone, right? So why am I still wearing the same coat? Seriously? Oh, not a clothes business again. I create life for crying out loud. You should think that everyone would be totally astounded by that fact. But no, so. everyone always asks about the outfit. Oh, well, excuse me. Excuse me, Hermes, but you don't seem to be very good at sewing from the style of your neck. So if you can make clothes very well, then I would be surprised. Okay, if I'm a clone... Why do I remember everything? Oh, you're paying attention. Of course I'm paying attention. That wasn't really intended in your design, but oh well, the technology is quite simple. I can use a full body scanner like this one to create and save a copy of your entire neural network. In those cloning chambers over there, the newly formed neural pathways are trimmed into the right shape by teeny tiny knives during the maturation process. The process resembles pruning a bonsai tree. The difference being, of course, okay. that the brain is much more complex and it takes me a nanosecond. Yes, yes. Oh, oh. Neural oh, shaping. What, what, what was that after uh, intended in your design? <laughs> Never mind. I found it fascinating. It was all for nothing. Deponi is lost, and so is gold. And it's all my fault. Why carry on with this rotten life? True. Because there is still hope. Life goes on. Life goes on. And how will you make sure of that? Are you going to use that contraption to, to clone all of Deponia? I'll show you what I think of your stupid machine. No, Rufus. No, Rufus. Don't do that. Stop me if you can. Rufus. You don't mean it. Hmm. I don't want to hit him. And I don't want to hit these. <sighs> I don't want to hit him, though. Cut it out! I'm sorry. Stop it! I don't want to hit you, though. I'd rather break this stuff, because no. it's not important. There! 
your turn. What have you done? Destroyed everything. This means it was all for nothing. You got it at last. You were right about everything, except for one little matter. It is all my fault. It was me who, way back when, believed that Deponia was no longer inhabitable, and I came up with the evacuation plan. I designed Elysium, and I created the Organon, and then, I thought so. when I was done, I started to have second thoughts. Human I nature. I stayed behind on Deponia to look for a better solution. I had all the time in the world, and I messed it up. I have run out of time. I cannot make up for what I have done. I thought that I had deserved to live with my guilt. But even that concept turned out to be overly optimistic. Because where there is life, there is hope. So what I deserve is to die with my guilt. Maybe I should have hit him after all. Didn't feel Go right on though. then. Shh. What? Still dead. What did I expect? But Hermes was gonna do something about it. Don't tell me he was gonna. I really need to talk to him. It's not over till it's over. Shit, Hermes, we need to fix this. Yo. Wait, stop! It's too late, Rufus. You are right. There is no more hope. No. Oh, no! What do I do now? We make him anew. Okay. We have to remake Hermes. Alright, is there anything new here? No. Alright, let's see if there's anything with goal in there. Just goal in this pipe. Where does this pipe go? <gasps> oh no, not this again. Aw, they're cute. A vampire platypus. I've never encountered one of those before. And there's nothing else in here? Hmm. So. Okay now. Take it easy. Oh. Oh, a little baby one. Oh, speaking of. Vampire platypus found. Hmm. Hey, little one. Are you hungry? Shh. Uh, don't do that. Vampire's kiss. Nice. But hey, beans. One, are you... No. Shh. Okay. Be easy now. <laughs> I should consider working as a dietitian. As it would hey, seem. One, you... Okay. So none of that will work. Uh, don't do that. Alright, so we might need something else for them. Man, I can't believe Goal's dead. Like, dead. Wow. Alright, so we have to get him... We have to fix him. So we have to get all of these up. Let's see what happens when we add beans. This is going to be a balancing act. What's that popular saying? Beggars can't be choosers. I said for. I you. The protein gauge has risen, and so has the one for carbohydrates. Looks like they were roach eggs after all. Okay. Now what about water? What does water do? A little off there. Yeah, I knew something was wrong with that stuff. The gauge for minerals rose along with the water gauge. Bah, who cares? I killed two birds with one stone. Alright, what about this nah, olive oil? Save the oil. There's not enough fat to reconstruct gold. Whoops. <laughs> Hope nobody tells her I said that. Oh, poor gold. Alright, maybe this olive oil? Was well, that a, a porcupine yeah. I saw? Here goes nothing. Huh. The oil seems to count as fat. Lucky guess. Okay, what about... Hmm. So, we just have this olive oil. 
Nah, it's just, it's not enough. Whoops. Okay, do I... Is that fine? Like, what else do I do? This gauge is different. I wonder what it means. But, as long as it's green, I'm sure it's just fine. I would hope so. Hmm. If I read these gauges right, they indicate the fill level of the machine. Yes, but... What do I do now is the question. Do I just olive oil with this? I wonder what... Okay. Like, can I walk over here? No, I can't. Hmm. Oh, pot belly platypus. Quitting time is for quitters. Yes. Oh, we have a time card. Okay. What does that do? Huh. Someone's been doing some serious overtime. The shift started so long ago, the hole was closed up. Wow. That's impressive. All right. I can't use it on a time what? clock. Still too soon to clock off, probably because the holes have closed up since the shift started. Hmm. Anything to do in here with it? Maybe not. Let's just try this. <laughs> the cook must have clocked out decades ago. Okay, and I can't use this with Jeez. this. Oils well? No. Okay. And there's. Cloning lab. I guess we'll just try this with the console. Huh. There's no time card slot here. Huh. But there's a slot for cartridges. Interesting. Let's just try the console. So And that what does this one do? Lever and button. Try that. Now. Okay. Uh, oh, rats. Out of curiosity, do they, um. Stop! Oh, come on! Yeah. Okay. Oh, now it's all reset. Okay. So I have enough materials to make a third one. Okay. And then we click this. Hmm. Okay, so that's Hermes. This is Rufus. We can make an Organon. Before I get myself another Hermes, I ought to use up the old ones. What? That's what I... Hmm. Hmm. Let's try this. Let's just see Certainly what this is. Certainly not. Looks. Thank you very much. There are more than enough of these guys. Are... All right. What about? No way. I'm unique, more or less. What about three Rufuses? Out of curiosity. No way. I'm more or less. Okay. Certainly, there are more. So we need. This gauge is different. I wonder what it means. But as long as it's green, I'm sure it's just fine. Oh, you know what? Oh, I can't use it. Um. This must. So that means enough minerals for two clones. But not enough for three. I guess this symbol means so that the tank has carbohydrates for two clones. This symbol seems to stand for so that the tank contains enough. Okay. I guess this. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Okay. All right. So we go over here. We do this. Uh, can you punch this for me? Thank you. Thanks. All right. See ya. And now, can we do this? Huh, but there's... Okay. Where else would I use the time card, mayhaps? Not in here. Not in here. 
Maybe this. Please, a little more respect for the miracle of life. Hmm. If I had the bat, I'd just hit this button. Huh. There's no time card slot here. Hmm. The data from the gauges comes directly from the machine. Hmm. And I couldn't use it on that. I wonder whether. Hmm. Dude, I have to do the puzzle originally wrong yeah, to do this. <laughs> okay. All right. Hmm. And I can't just do this, right? Oh. I can. Congratulations. You set a new overtime record. To keep the memory of this grand moment forever fresh in your mind, you receive an amazing bonus, garlic. For garlic helps you remember, especially in old age. And judging by your overtime, you must be as ancient as the hill. Enjoy your well-deserved leisure time. Okay. So now I have some garlic. And I have all this stuff. A food truck door. Oh, not a chance. Totally rusted shot. Oh, it's just one obstacle. Okay. Oil. Thank you. There we go! It actually worked! This is incredible! Could it be that I have just discovered a way to make use of olives? It would seem so. Now we can take all this good stuff. Oh, it's gonna be a whole new balancing game. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, we'll try... Well, you know what? Let's go and try the garlic on the the vampire platypus real quick. Because I have a feeling like that's how we get the egg. Which I would feel bad about taking the hey, egg. Hey, little one. Are you hungry? Actually, uh, never mind. Eat this. Aww. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, I'm sorry, little one. It looks cute, <laughs> but its breath stinks. Okay, now, take it easy. Mm -hmm. Oh no, not this again. Okay. So then we have vampire eggs. Can I? I have no idea why I would. I was gonna. You, Try she using the vampire. Hungry. She's dead, and it's all my fault. Yeah, she lost her appetite. It sucks. All right. So we have all that stuff. I'm worried we might have to use them. No, there's no no reason we'd have to use them in that. Oh, okay. So basically, it comes down to a balancing act. But let's try this first. Share Rufus. And here's some more protein. Good thing there isn't a gauge for cholesterol. Yeah, it would seem so. <laughs> you know what they say. You are what you eat. Salt, the spice of life. Okay, I'm assuming this is going to get all of them up to one. This is going to be up one. so yummy. What is this? Fizz. This used to be my favorite ah, soda. soda. I always liked how they made it glow in the dark. And it still glows when you pee. It's pretty normal, Rufus. Ah, Swillow Fizz. An essential nutritional staple. There were months when I lived on nothing else. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Rufus. Alright. Let's see if this works. Essential building blocks of life itself. And now, the mystery gauge and the third one? Okay. All right, well that should be all to get him back up in order. All right, and we'll do this last thing and then we'll call the episode after possibly a cutscene. Let's see. Oh, right, three, okay. And now. Okay. 
all good. Oh, rats. It's fine, Rufus. They'll get recycled. Stop! Well, all but one. Hey, what are you doing? Wait for me? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Got you now. All right. Hermes the third. Oh, the irony. He took away my respect for life, and I kicked his butt. Yes. You said so yourself. All is lost. That's what I thought. But then I found gold. What were you planning? Can she be saved? Oh, you know the girl? She fell from the sky shortly after you. There was a spark of life left in her brain. The rest was pretty much smashed up, so I created a clone. You did. It survived long enough for me to perform a complete scan. Here, your lady friend could be cloned with this. The missing ingredient. Even though I have no idea what good it would do, Deponia is lost. <laughs> Just leave that to me. Oh, Cole's brain scan. I have the cartridge with her full body scan. It's not over till it's over. All right. In the next episode, we will go and we will bring Gold back to life. Hopefully. Man, this episode took an interesting turn. And I might have to cut out a good bit of the faffery that had to happen. But, anyway. I might not. We'll see. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, or enjoying the series, or find something to enjoy today. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Goodbye. Deponia.